Welcome my crafty friends. Welcome back to Melanie Smith Stamps. I am Melanie and I'm here today with the Spellbinders June 2024 Clubs of the Month. I have got um, three of the clubs here in front of me. I've got the large die, the small die, and the stencil. And I've got some projects to share with you today and we're going to make a large die of the month card. I have been chosen this month to make a few projects for the Spellbinders website. So I have pre-made some projects that will be on the website. So I'm going to share my small die of the month card, which I have created using um, the little ice cream cone and the stencil of the month, which is this beach ball, which is a three piece stencil set where you can stencil the, in this picture here, this example, the yellow, the green, and then the little dot here in the center of the ball. So I have chosen in my project to choose um, a more traditional color for a beach ball, which when I was younger was more of the reds and the blues and the yellows. So I went with the traditional of what I think of when I think of beach balls. And then I made a little ice cream cone little man to go on top of my beach balls. And then I used two of the sentiments from the small die of the month. And I put chill day which are two of the sentiments that come with the small die of the month. You have happy, day, and chill. Also with the small die of the month, you have another character, which I would say is a little pig. He has a little snout, he has little hands, he has little glasses, and either the ice cream cone or the pig can go into the intertube and the intertube can be used alone or it can be used with the little characters down below and can be made like into a turtle or um, you can use your imagination and create it however you see fit. Now the stencil is kind of neat this month and I will have another project using this stencil also with the large die which has also been sent off to Spellbinders. So I'm going to share it also here on the screen with you. I have used the large die of the month, the summertime vacay, and we have used this stencil here for the background. And I have stenciled the ocean and the sunset. Now I've chosen colors for the sunset and made it kind of pinkish and purples because of the actual time of day I'm picturing. So then I've chosen to put my beach chair and my um, adorable umbrella and everything in front of the sunset, creating this pretty scene, as you can see here in the picture. So now that I've shared both of those cards with you, let's create another scene together with the large die as it's intended. Now, this scene here is the full intended large die of the month. And it's got, you know, the water, it's got a little island, it's got the chair and the really neat umbrella. You could also do two chairs because it's got a chair going in both directions, which I thought was pretty nifty. You've got multiple clouds. You've got the sun, which could put here, but I think we're going to put it up in the sky. And we're also going to move this beach scene down so that we can fit this into an A2 because this here looks to me like they've done this on a 5x7 and I want to show you versatility. So you can do this on a 5x7 which I know a lot of people love that idea but you can do it both ways and I want you to be able to see that so with my sample today we're going to do it on a, an A2 card. So here's my A2 card base, and I've gone ahead and chosen our blue sky. And then for our waves, I've done a glitter card, 
and this is Spellbinders Glitter Card. And then I've chosen a lighter blue card just to go under that, and we're gonna layer those like so, just to give it a little texture. And we're gonna put that all the way down here at the bottom to give us our waves. This little piece here is the island or the beach, however you wanna see it. I'm gonna use it as an island. You could pull it all the way down here and use it as a beach. You also have another die in here that I'm not using that is an actual land die. I'll show it to you here. But you could use this die and create a land itself. And then you could make your mound, you know, something like this. And that way all of this could be sand. It could all be this color. And you could have the bottom portion of your card in that color if you chose to. But I'm gonna go ahead and just use it as an island and have some water down below, the island peeking up, and then the rest sky behind it. So let's go ahead and glue these two together. We're just gonna make this card quick and easy together today. I thought having everything pre-die cut, it would be quick and easy just to glue this together and build it. I figure if you get your kit home, you can come back, save this video, come back and create with me. And I thought that would be fun because the whole idea is to craft together, right? So some videos I like to do that to where you can do that. It, you know, if you get this or if you've got similar products, you don't even have to have this product, but if you have similar beachy style products, you know, you could create a scene right along with me. You don't have to have the same exact products to be able to do that. You, I mean, there's a lot of manufacturers that have products similar. And you could use, you know, these ideas or these colors or whatever inspires you. Maybe layering your dyes up like this inspires you. So maybe that's what you want to take away from this today. Whatever inspires you to create, that's what I want you to take away. Because that is the whole point of crafting, is to inspire one another. So we're just going to lay this down here. And I think it's pretty cool that Spellbinders kind of created this to fit right down in here to where it doesn't show underneath. So I'm going to not push that down all the way just yet. And I'm going to go ahead and slip this underneath. One reason why I wanted to do the gluing with you so I could show that to you. You can slip it right under the edge there. And it's almost like it was made perfectly to do that because that water is coming right over the edge of that island right around there. Isn't that neat? And then since this is an A2 card, it's going over the edges just slightly and I'll turn that over and I'll use my Spellbinder shears and I will just snip those little excess pieces off and we will have a beautiful textured, it's very textured, oops, it's very textured beachy ocean little island right there. So that's perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. So now now, to give you an idea, these are a little far out there colors because my little Elijah, and if any of you are part of my Facebook group, you've seen my Elijah. My Elijah is my four-year-old grandson. And if you're not a member of my group, my link is down below, so feel free to join. But Mr. Elijah helped die cut this for us, and he chose the colors. So, this gold glitter was his request. <laughs> and so everything revolved around this glitter today. And this was a request of his, and it was necessary. So he had to have colors that went with the gold glitter. He wanted it to go with dark blue and 
Grandmommy wasn't sure about dark blue because everything else in the background was going to be blue. So I talked him into warm colors to go with the gold. So he picked orange. So I was like, okay, we'll go with the orange because he picked the yellow for the sun. He picked the white for the clouds. He picked the sand color. We were picking stuff out of my scrap bin. And he did pretty good, I thought. And so I let him pick the other colors. And the only other thing I added was the blue, the, the blue glitter later after he went home. So that's the only thing Grandmommy added. And the rest was him. So I'm really proud of him. I'll pop a picture of him up on the screen here, if possible. And you can see him. And if you would like to join us over on Facebook, the, the Facebook group is called Heartfelt Card Making with Spellbinders and More. I'd love to have you over there crafting life with us. You can share your makes with any brand of product. And I would love to have you sharing your projects with us so we can root you along. Elijah comes over from time to time and die cuts for me. He loves his little mini die cut machine that he has to play with. So that's what he was doing this weekend when he die cut this one and the stitching die of the month. So you'll have to check back on that one as he made a mint chocolate chip ice cream cone. And that is a must see video. So make sure you check back for that one. All right, there is his umbrella. I think it's kind of cute. We will go ahead and glue that down on the stick or pole. He said it had to be white to match the seats. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to do this one a little different than I did the one before because I want this a little shorter since we're doing the small card. So that is going to go like, just scooting that over just a smidge. Whoops, there we go. Okay, so that's gonna go about right there. I'm gonna get these clouds in here. And I have this half a cloud left over from the other project. And then I thought we would pull in this cloud here and we put the sun behind it peeking out rather than the sun down below which the other project showed and then maybe we get the little cloud and we'd have that that one got a little bent so let me see this other one there we go put that one up there Let's see how this looks with our umbrella now. Looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and glue those down. So tell me in the description below, do you like to make scene cards? Is that something you enjoy? I really enjoy scene cards. They just bring a lot of life to card making, I think. And it's fun. I, I really do enjoy them. So let's see, we will do, let's make sure our umbrella, yeah, I want to make sure this portion of the, the cloud is covered, which is what I was after. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that. Well, I think scene cards make, just give you a change you know, uh, um, you know, everything doesn't have to always be flowers and geometric. And I think scene is a scene card is just something that's gives you a change of pace, and it can bring a story. You know, allow you to make a story almost like a fantasy world, and I kind of like that. I like these clouds kind of going off the edge too. So I'm gonna put this half cloud down here. Like I said, I used the other half of this on my other project. There we go. Okay. 
Got those there. Then we'll put our umbrella. Isn't that coming out cute? Right there. I haven't thought ahead what sentiment I'm going to use for this card. So I need to think about that because I didn't think of that ahead. Let's see. I think I have some pre-made, so I'll need to look in my stash and see if I have any pre-made that will go with this from the clubs. Now these chairs are adorable and it's gonna fit perfect right there. Now these chairs have this piece here, which took me a minute to figure out, but it has this little notch right here and that notch fits that little opening right there like so. But you wanna move it up far enough to where this is on that bar. So it's kind of tricky. You gotta kind of move it around a little bit to make sure, let me pull this up so you can see it. Make sure this is on that bar up here. And then you wanna maneuver this to where it's falling. See, see here? So it's falling in that, to where that white section is filling that little notch right there. Okay? So I'm gonna get that piece on there first. And I think the way I will do it is put a little bit of glue right along here. And we'll do that piece first. And then I will line that up right there. Then I'll lift this just a tad and put a little piece along that line right there. And just maneuver it to where it's just perfect. There we go. And now there's two other pieces that go on here. This piece has a little notch right here. Kind of hard to see between my glitter and my glitter nails and my glitter cardstock. But it goes down. So and it's gonna fit right around that notch there for the white. And there are debossed lines on the paper to tell you where to sit these. But then there's this odd piece right here. Pick this up with my tweezers. This piece right here, let's see if I can get it to focus, there we go. That piece right there, and it goes right here. Let's see if you can see that. And it's just a continuation of let's see the stripe. It's kind of awkward looking. But once it's on, it makes sense. And here again, there is a little marking of where it goes, but it's just a little to me, it's a little confusing. So that's why I wanted to make sure I showed it to you so that it would make sense when you got it home. There you go. So it's just like it's coming down and then it's rippling up and it's coming down again. So there's your chair and we'll get that on there. And of course you could pop some of these up if you wanted to. I'm just going super simple today. I'll probably give this to little Elijah since he designed it. Maybe I'll give it to him for his birthday and surprise him. All right, so there's our cute little beach scene. So we need like a little sentiment. So let me go grab my sentiments and I'll be right back. And here we go. 
I added a Make-A-Wish sentiment. It's foiled in gold to match our gold foiled or gold glitter card that Mr. Elijah picked out. And we've got that shimmery ocean down below also. And there is our finished beach card using the large die of the month from Spellbinders. So I hope you have enjoyed today's card and that you come back and see me um, for multiple more cards this month from the clubs. I will be having a stitching club. I'll be having a wax seal, a better press, and who knows what else. So we'll definitely be having other videos this month. So make sure you stay tuned. Hit that notification bell. Hopefully you'll like and subscribe as well. I will see you in the next video, my friends. Take care. Bye-bye.